The Water Mining Project is a Horizon 2020 research and innovation project. It is coordinated by the Delft University of Technology from the Netherlands and puts together 38 public and private partners and four linked third parties from 12 different countries across Europe. The project will develop innovative technologies for improving water desalination technologies, developing techniques for extracting phosphates and other bio-based valuable products from urban wastewater, and increasing circularity in industrial water use. This presentation is aimed at explaining case study three, dealing with the recovery of a bio-based product called Calmera Neredagam, which is produced from aerobic granular sludge from urban wastewater treatment plants. The water mining project aims to face the challenge of ensuring access to clean water and sanitation by developing innovative solutions for the sustainable use of alternative water sources, including urban and industrial wastewater and seawater desalination. The project considers water as a resource, as a consumable, and as a durable good. To capture the full potential of the circular water economy, the water mining project proposes different strategies for each of these three water forms. These strategies are developed in six case studies that involve urban and industrial wastewater and water desalination. Case study three corresponds to one of the urban mining case studies, and it is related to the Nereda sewage treatment process. The Nereda sewage treatment process purifies water with little or no chemicals by using the patented aerobic granular sludge technology. Compared to conventional activated sludge installations, the Nereda aerobic granulation technology reduces energy costs with a much smaller physical footprint for municipal and industrial wastewaters. An additional advantage of Nereda is the recovery of a high value biopolymer called Calmera Nereda gum from the granules. The specific objectives of case study three are the following. Demonstrate innovation spin-off from granular sludge produced in wastewater treatment at large scale while producing market-valued bio-based alginate-like polymers, Calmera. Two demo-scale Calmera Nereda gum extraction installations are in operation in the Netherlands, and the project will adapt and prove its implementation in warm climate regions. A transportable Calmera extraction installation will be operated at the wastewater treatment plant Paro Oliao in Portugal from mid-2022 on for several months. It will be optimized for the use in warm climate regions and adapted for the wastewater characteristics, such as fluctuating salinities. Climate conditions can also change Calmera properties. For instance, it is very likely that salinity will increase water binding capacity. Warm climate specific barriers and enablers will be identified, either political, legal, economic, social, technological or environmental, by a close exchange with operators, end users, companies and academia. Currently, Nereda is considered an excellent wastewater treatment process due to the characteristics mentioned before. However, like in all wastewater treatment plants, nitrogen and phosphorus are not recovered from the wastewater and carbon is recovered as products that have only low market value. Waste, granular sludge, is transported from the Nereda tank to the fermenter. The neutral pH fermenter produces biogas, which can be considered a low value carbon product. Then sludge with remaining phosphorus and nitrogen is transported for treatment, valorization or disposal. The envisioned Nereda system in water mining could foster circularity in a wastewater treatment plant by producing Nereda Camera gum from sludge. There is also the possibility of generating biomethane, a higher value carbon product and recovering phosphorus and nitrogen, which can be used in the fertilizers industry. Therefore, this scheme is an expression of what we can expect in the near future. Currently, to produce Camera gum, the sludge passes through a first extraction reactor, which operates at high temperature and alkaline environment. Then, a centrifuge separates the residual sludge and sends the concentrate to a precipitation reactor, which operates at lower temperature and acid environment. It then sends the product to a centrifuge, 
which finally separates Kaumara gum from residual concentrate. It can be also added a fermenter to the system, which would receive the residual sludge and concentrate streams for methane production. This can also add the ability to recover waste heat from the system. In the following years, we will research in the lab how nitrogen and phosphorus can be recovered and whether it is possible to integrate an alkaline fermenter in the future. Kalmar extraction in warm climate is a technology for the very near future, and we will develop add-ons that will make it possible to recover nutrients from fermentation for further resource recovery. Kalmar has many applications in various ways in agriculture, paper, concentrate, and textile industries. Case study three will focus on the agricultural applications of Kaumara gum, which may serve as biostimulants, which are organic mixtures that promote plant growth, reduce abiotic and biotic stress, or improve nutrient uptake. Kaumara nereda gum has shown an increase in plant biomass, similar to the applications of seaweed-derived alginates. This would imply a reduction in pesticide requirements. As an absorber, Kaumara is capable of absorbing 15 times its weight in water. It can be used against uncontrolled evaporation in warm climate soils, which would reduce irrigation needs and its related costs, which is a key in water scarce regions. A slow release coatings, which enable controlled, steady, and slow release of fertilizer, avoiding over application and reducing its consumption. Currently, applied coatings are made of petrochemical polymers, such as polyacrylate, which is difficult to break down and can accumulate in the soil. According to the owner of the technology, the advantage of Calmera over comparable conventional products is that it is a renewable resource free of pathogens and fully degradable. It has low heavy metal concentrations and can be produced regionally, close to the wastewater treatment plant where sludge is produced. 